If you had the power to decide how you would leave this world, what would your choice be? Homer Simpson once joked he might die from too much happiness or even in a naked girl avalanche. Initially, these sound almost appealing, at least compared to reality. In truth, most of us won't get a choice at all. While Elon Musk may have some extraordinary final plans we don't know about, the average person will face more predictable ends, aging, illness, or an unfortunate accident, yet there are deaths that are neither ordinary nor straightforward. They are elaborate, exceedingly rare and hauntingly cruel, the kinds of ends you'd never wish upon even your worst enemy. This list explores some of those horrifying possibilities. Once you've read through them, consider indulging in some uplifting thoughts. Puppies are a good start, though perhaps steer clear of rabid ones. Radiation poisoning may seem like an obvious entry in a list like this, but its full horror is often underestimated. Take the tragic case of Hisashi Uchi, a 35-year-old worker at a Japanese fuel enrichment plant. In 1999, a criticality accident exposed him to an unimaginable dose of radiation, making him one of the most infamous victims of acute radiation sickness. For 83 agonizing days, Uchi's body slowly deteriorated. Initially, the damage was deceptively subtle. Hospital staff believed he could recover, noticing only what seemed like severe sunburn and minor swelling. But internally, his immune system had completely shut down, leaving him defenseless against infections. Over time, his skin began to crack and slough off. His body was riddled with sores and he bled uncontrollably from multiple orifices. Despite his body repeatedly failing, his family insisted on reviving him each time his heart stopped, prolonging his suffering until his final death. It's a haunting reminder of radiation's devastating effects. There's nothing quite like visiting breathtaking natural wonders until you take an actual breath-stealing plunge. Falling from great heights is horrifying on its own, but imagine the added shock of it happening somewhere as serene as the Grand Canyon. While extreme activities like bungee jumping or skydiving come with a small thrill of risk, accidents at scenic viewpoints are often unexpected and chilling. Picture this, you're lining up the perfect sunset shot, completely unaware of how close you are to the edge. One wrong step, and instead of capturing a memory, you become one. A grim reminder of the risk that comes with chasing Instagram-worthy views. The odds of dying at the Grand Canyon are about 1 in 400,000. It's not a significant risk, statistically, but probabilities mean little if you're the one. So maybe don't take that extra step for the perfect selfie. It's not worth the jagged rocks waiting hundreds of feet below. Society's fascination with serial killers often borders on glorification. True crime enthusiasts analyze patterns and behaviors, and filmmakers sometimes depict these criminals with a twisted anti-hero appeal. Yet in this morbid obsession, the victims and their horrific experiences are often overshadowed. Imagine the terror of being captured by someone who finds pleasure in your pain. The psychological torment, the helplessness, the knowledge that your suffering fuels their depraved desires, it's a level of horror most of us can't fully comprehend. What makes this kind of death worse is its legacy. Victims are often remembered in the shadow of their killers, while the perpetrators achieve a level of notoriety they don't deserve. For anyone caught in this nightmare, the fear of being reduced to a footnote in someone else's twisted story only adds to the anguish. Exposure sounds clinical, but its reality is far more brutal. Whether stranded in freezing mountains, scorching deserts or dense wilderness, dying from the elements is a slow, agonizing process. In cold environments, hypothermia sets in. Shivering escalates to confusion, hallucinations and bizarre behaviors like paradoxical undressing, where victims remove clothing despite the freezing temperatures. In deserts, dehydration leads to sunburn, organ failure and sunstroke compounding the misery. Christopher McCandless, famously chronicled in Into the Wild, experienced the long, lonely demise that exposure can bring. Starving and possibly poisoned by toxic plants, he succumbed after 113 days in Alaska's wilderness, a grim reminder of nature's indifference. Rabies is almost always fatal once symptoms manifest and its effects are nothing short of nightmarish. Victims suffer aggression, hallucinations, muscle spasms and hydrophobia, a violent aversion to water that leads to extreme dehydration. 
Despite advances in prevention, untreated rabies remains a death sentence. Watching someone succumb to this disease is a reminder of how nature's smallest agents can cause the greatest horrors. Historically used as a form of punishment, death by boiling remains one of the most agonizing ways to die. In modern times, industrial accidents occasionally lead to such tragedies. In 2021, a young chef in Iraq tragically fell into a vat of boiling soup while preparing for a wedding. Suffering third degree burns over 70% of his body, he endured five excruciating days before succumbing to his injuries. It's a death as horrifying as it is rare.